Today is the day. I finally built something in Tiny Glade. Tiny Glade has to be the cutest, coziest, most aesthetic game that I've ever seen. And everyone is building the most elaborate, beautiful things. I am personally not there yet. We're gonna, we're trying, okay? So instead of just building a basic cottage because in my few trials of playing this game, that is all I have successfully done. Today I decided to challenge myself to build a tree house. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So I hope you enjoy the process. Let me know what you think of Tiny Glade down in the comments below. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So my biggest goal with this specific build was I didn't just wanna have a square building on a flat surface. That's kind of all I've been doing so far because for some reason, the most intuitive building game is just not intuitive for me. I just, it's not clicking for me at this point, but I'm working on it. So I challenged myself. I wanted to have some elevation and I wanted to use a couple of the techniques that I've seen other people using. I wanted to try a floating building and then trees around it to give the illusion of a tree house. Now I did do a little bit of testing of this prior to, just to make sure that I could make this elevated platform work. And for some reason, for me, it only works with the two circle platforms. So I basically had to elevate one of the circles and then put another circle on top of it and then put my square house on top of that circle. I had a lot of struggles just with this one <laughs> aspect of this build. I will say one of the things that helped me out a lot was actually looking at the controls and figuring out just some of the basic movements, kind of playing around with everything a little bit more. I mean, obviously, as you play, you're gonna get better. And I get that, but I just, I wanna be an expert from the moment I jump in. Finding out that if I right click on a structure, it's gonna give me more options to edit that structure was definitely a game changer. I feel like occasionally I was getting that menu to accidentally pop up, but I didn't know how to do it, but that really helped. I tried several times editing the color of these two platforms, but anytime I tried to edit them, it would kind of look glitchy and weird. And then when I would try to put them back how they were, it never quite worked right. So I decided I just wasn't gonna mess with it. Now the structure of the house itself is very, very basic. It's just a rectangle and then another rectangle layered on top of it. I do wanna play around more in the future with kind of trying to figure out how to improve making my buildings look more unique and visually interesting but I'm not at that point yet. And a basic house is cute sometimes, you know what I mean? So I added a little chimney, I got the colors how I wanted them. She's looking cute, she's looking like a cottage. I'm gonna add windows, I'm gonna add a door. I think the house itself is looking really cute. So then after finishing the house, I really, really, really wanted to make some stairs leading down to the path. And one of the ways that you can make stairs is by using these individual fence pieces. So basically you put the path down, you put a tiny piece of fence on top of the path, and then it turns into this like open archway that's not an arch because it's a square, but I don't know what you would call it, like a trellis opening, I don't know. Anyways, then you elevate it to the height you need and you just repeat over and over. Now, one thing I do wish they had in this game was just a copy button. Give me a copy button because once I make something, I don't wanna have to make it again. I wanna just copy paste over and over and over as many times as I need to. And that's for multiple things, like the actual structures themselves or these fence pieces. Sometimes like I'll get a window exactly how I want it and then I wanna be able to just copy and paste it. I hope they add that in the future. But I wanted to have these stairs. Number one, doing this was taking me way too long. And then number two, I couldn't figure out how I was gonna hide the sides of the stairs 
because I felt like it was losing the floating like treehouse aspect of it when I had the stairs there because it just kind of blocked the front. So after way too long, I ended up getting rid of the stairs. I'm gonna do stairs in a future build, but for now, we got rid of them. The next step was I wanted to hide as much of the platform as possible. So that meant just adding tons of trees. I had to kind of play around with the elevation underneath the house so I could get the trees in just the right spot. And then I just kept adding them and layering them over each other as much as I could. One thing that's like a blessing and a curse with Tiny Glade too is it's so easy to just undo and redo and I make a lot of mistakes. So it's great that I have that option to just kind of get rid of stuff and add it back but it also leads to a lot of indecision on my part. And I end up just wasting a bunch of time putting stuff down and then I get rid of it completely. So I can't really decide, do I want flowers underneath the whole thing? Do I want pathway underneath the house? I do struggle a little bit. I'm someone who really likes all of the space to be full. And because there aren't individual items that we can add, that is something that I've been struggling with is how do I add more interest if I don't have items? Like I just have the flowers, trees, and water to work with if I'm not building a whole housing structure. So if y'all have any ideas, let me know down in the comments below. Any like tips and tricks on how to fill some of the space? That's another thing that I really wanna work on. I did go ahead and put windows all around the sides and the back of the building. I'll probably never even look at the sides of the back of the building, but I went ahead and did it anyway, just for peace of mind to know that it's there. So then I decided that I actually wanted it to be almost an island. I wanted it to be completely surrounded by water. I do wish that I could have some waterfalls or some kind of moving water, but it is so satisfying to just put these huge ponds, rivers, everything on your little glade, I love it so much. With the water down, I ended up elevating the other side of the land as well. And then I decided that I wanted to make a bridge. Now, I don't know if this is the right way to make a bridge, <laughs> but this is how I made a bridge. And I basically just took one of the rectangle structures, put it over the section that I needed, and then elevated the bottom and added pathway on the front and back of the bridge so it would turn them into stairs. I did try to play around with the height a little bit, but once I elevated this structure too much, the railings on the front and the back came back, and I don't know if there's a way for me to get rid of that without having the path underneath. So I ended up having to have the bridge at that same level of the land, if that makes any sense. So at this point, I did want things to feel a little bit more done. I wanted just a tiny bit more interest. So I started adding flowers and trees around just so it wasn't just the one house. I did end up adding some fencing just because some of these cliff edges were just too bare for me. I also played around with the idea of adding another tiny housing structure, but once I put it down, I really just didn't like it. And I ended up just deleting the whole thing. After I felt like the bridge was finished and I'd added enough of the flowers and trees, I still felt like there was way too much empty space at the front. Now I'm not worried about filling up the entire glade, but I did want it to feel full enough. So I added some more water, and then I started working on smoothing out and making the path just a little bit bigger and where I wanted it. Added more trees, added more flowers, and then we were done. We have the finished simple tree house as I'm calling it, but I'm proud of this build. This is my first official Tiny Glade build. I've got a bridge. I've got the floating house in the trees. I think it turned out nice. I love the autumn vibes. I mean, honestly, anything you build in Tiny Glade is gonna be cute because it's just so aesthetically pleasing, but I'm happy with it.
So that was kind of my building process as someone who is very new to Tiny Glade and still learning. Maybe it inspired some of you to pick up Tiny Glade and start playing. I'm also gonna have the full length unedited footage over on my second channel. I'll have that link down below and up in the cards if you wanna check that out. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.